Howdy! In this video, you will learn on how to convert your classic quizzes into new quizzes. I'll just click the quizzes link on your course navigation for now. But before we get started, I would like to mention that there are two different ways to migrate your classic quizzes into new quizzes in Canvas. It really depends on whether you use question banks or not. If you do not use a question bank, it is relatively simple. You can click and choose uh, one of your classic quizzes, such as this one, and click the three vertical dots and hit migrate. This will migrate your quiz 10. It's for the children, such as this quiz, into a new quiz in Canvas. Once it's ready, you can click the new quiz and click build to check and to modify your quiz questions. From here, you can click return to return to your quizzes main menu. If you have a question banks, unfortunately, at this time, there is no easy way to migrate your question banks in classic quizzes into an item banks in new quizzes. But there is a workaround. Workaround number one is used when you have a small number of questions in your question banks. First, what you will need to do is to create a fake quiz just to hold your question bank questions. So I'm going to click classic quizzes because that is where my question bank is located in classic quizzes. Just hit submit and I'm gonna call it bank three. And I'm gonna go to questions you do not need to do anything because this is just to hold uh, your question banks that you have in your classic quizzes. And I'm gonna go to find question. And I'm going to click the exam banks that I want to put in this quiz. I'm gonna select all and add questions. Once it's done adding all the questions, I'm gonna click save. So uh, you have created your quiz for that bank. It does have only 23 questions, so it's relatively small. So from here, the three vertical dots and hit migrate. So it's gonna migrate bank three to a new quiz, which is once it's ready, it's also gonna show up on the bottom. I'm going to click bank three and hit build. Once it's load, you can click each question and click item banking and move this question to an item bank. You can create a new item bank and you can call it the same banks as in your classic quiz question banks as bank three for example, just to keep the consistency and click add. So this will be a manual process that you have to do depending on how many questions that you have. In this scenario, I have 23 questions, so I have to do this 23 times. So I'm gonna click question number two and click item banking and choose add to bank. And I'm gonna choose existing bank, item bank, 
for this one just because I have created the bank already. I'm going to choose bank three and click add. And click done. Keep the item. And that's it. Once you're done, you can click return to go back to your quizzes main menu. The workaround number two is used when you have a large number of questions in your question banks. So let's say that 23 questions, it's a, an example of a large questions, a large question banks. So you will still need to create uh, fake quizzes and your classic quizzes like I did prior and pull all those questions into a classic quiz by finding the, find the questions. You have to pull all of that and hit save. So since I already did it, I'm just gonna click cancel for in this one. And once it's ready, I can click settings and export course content. Keep in mind that you do not want to export your course. I only want to export that particular quiz question that I made, which is just bank three in here and click create export. This will download into a QTI zip file, which you will need later. After it's done downloading, you can download it to your computer and you can go back to quizzes. And you can choose any from here, you can choose any types of assessment that you have built prior uh, using new quizzes, such as this one. So this is a bank three or new quizzes testing that I've built before um, in new quizzes. And I'm going to click build. And from here, you do not want to modify this quiz, but instead, you want to click this three vertical dots on the right side of return button and click manage item banks. From here, you can create a new bank. You can call it something different. For example, bank number four and create bank and click bank number four. There are no questions in this bank yet because you need to click the three vertical dots again next to on the right side of return and click import content. From here, you can browse or drag and drop the QTI zip file that you have downloaded from your classic quiz, such as this one. You do not want to open it, you want to import it as a zip file and click open and click import. Once it's done, you can click done and all of your questions from your classic quiz, quiz question, quiz question banks will be converted into a, an item banks. You can click return on this one and you can start using those item banks as your quiz questions. You can click plus and click the item banks icon and choose the bank, the item banks that you want to use, such as this one that you just imported and choose the questions. You can click the plus, there we go, such as that one. 
once you're done, you can click return to return to the quizzes main menu. Thank you.